Does he just smoke the main carapace at once, or does he do all his legs and claws and stuff too? That's Oh yeah. It's the well, we stuff. had we had one molt about a week and a half ago, and it's basically almost an entire body okay. that's shell that's, that's left behind. Yeah. yeah, you see the little feet almost on everything. And that's what he appears to be doing, is molting out of his skin. Yeah, because he wasn't up here at all about half an hour ago. He was up in that spot. You can, you can tell see. them apart? No, just, just by the fact that the one I was looking at earlier was oh. normal. This one okay, look, look, look. Oh, goes. he did. Oh my gosh, it's like a he just baby. molted. Oh my goodness, how amazing! Look, that and was everything. everything. Everything comes behind. Here's the molt, it's yeah. like a little ghost, it has all the empty legs and everything, the empty tail. Oh, golly, you can see the whole thing. Oh, and it was the empty, sh the empty claws, and wow. now. Here is the newly molted guy trying to He's get trying himself. To He's very soft at this point and rather vulnerable, he which is why he's out. hiding here. Yeah, it was all very fast when it finally happened. That was exciting. Okay, he's working at trying to turn himself over. I thought he was dying over. and he was just molting. Oh, wow. Yeah, you just saw it. Yeah. I just saw it, yeah. That was pretty cool, the way he just flipped it, out of his skin. It was like somebody kind of pushed him. Yeah, I was, like, I was looking at him going, he doesn't look healthy. He doesn't look well. He's yeah. just... No, he well, you know, it's funny because he looked whitish yesterday, and mm -hmm. I wondered if he was getting ready to do this. Look at his little new toes and everything. So just moving in, you can see he's got his new claws. Everything. Everything's moving. Well, they, when you stop to think about it, though, everything had to come out of, at once. But it's the whole yeah. thing. Yeah, and, and he's, he's like, just kind of... What I, now, the one thing about them is this is their most vulnerable time, and they could die at this point if the molt doesn't go well. Oh, and I'm watching hard. him laying there, but he seems to be okay. I mean, he's just moving everything. That's kind of how he looked when he was... Okay. No, I don't think it feels good to molt. No. Must take a lot out of you. So I guess the question now is, can he flip himself over? Yeah. And will he? Mm -hmm. I guess we can't intervene. That would be... He's, no, he's no, we're... Tail. It looked like he had muscular strength to do it. Just so I guess we'll give him a few minutes and see what he does. Well, if you said that he wasn't there a half hour ago, so that the whole process doesn't... When he finally settles down to it, it doesn't take yeah, that long. Yeah, he's probably been getting ready for a while. But oh, yeah, so that's the remainder of the shell. Yeah. Are you but it would be nice. This? Yes, I am. Oh, excellent. And you caught the actual moment. What I'm going to do is put this on our blog because everything that we do in here, ah, oh, he looks like he's trying to gain he some. He's trying to get over. He's trying to turn over. Come on, guy. Well, you know, okay. I will post on the blog how this turns out, oh, okay. one way or the other. Okay. Excellent. Thank you. Do you have our blog post sheet? Well, I've been picking up the So he's moving around a fair bit. He's laying on his back, and I'm just hoping he stays alive. Come on, guy, turn over. His tank mate molted about a week and a half ago, and that was on our blog as well. Oh, really? You so had that one too? The other one had already molted, so this one was overdue. So I'm glad to see he did, but this is the part where they're either going to live or not. Come on. See if he can make it. There's a part of me that wants to reach in there and flip him over, <laughs> but I can't do that.
Well, we're going to let him sit here and rest because perhaps it'll take him a few minutes. And then we'll come back and we'll check on him and see if he's been able to flip himself over. Oh, is he going to do it now? He's curling his tail up. Come on. I don't know how long they have to rest after molting. I imagine that takes a fair bit. Come on. And then later what they're going to do is eat up their malt because they need that calcium from the shell to use in their new shell. Well, he's certainly trying. I see how he curls that tail. He's got all his swimmerettes moving. He should be breathing well. He doesn't have leverage with his soft legs. <laughs> that may very well be that he's just so soft. Has he oh, he hasn't flipped over yet. No, not yet. He keeps he's trying though. Yeah, Look at everything's going. Seems to be more he's active. Though. With his tail. Uh, he's, he's arching his back now. Well, they don't really have a back. But. <laughs> Oh, you can just want to help him so much. Oh, I know, I know. <laughs> just a little flip and he'll be fine. Okay, come on, guy. One more time. Let's make this one the charm. We have a whole audience here that wants you to flip over. Come on. Send his buddy over to help. His buddy would probably eat him. I know, that's what I'm afraid of. <laughs> that's the other reason I want to see this guy get up on his feet because then he has a chance to hide. I think that's, yeah. He's trying. That's why he keeps trying. He's those big claws. I wonder if we put a little bit of gravel, I was like, I don't want to mess with him too much. He'll freak out if we try to do anything. That's kind of gravel. He's away from the place that's just smooth as glass. Turn your side. Come on, Gully. Look at how much he can curl that tail. Mm -hmm. Let's move in a little closer here and see how he seems to be doing. See all the swimmerettes moving, the legs, the tail. Come on, there you go, Bert. Come on, the come tail. Come on, come on, you're almost there. Use your other claw. Push against the glass.
I have to stop the camera here. I'm running out of